friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Here we start with the properties of addition of integers. First property is called closure property of addition. Let us understand what does that mean. If we add any two integers and the result is another integer, then we will be able to say that integers are closed under addition. So let us check. 0 is also an integer. If we have 0 plus 5, it will give us 5, which is also an integer. What about 0 minus 2? This is minus 2, but minus 2 is also an integer. Let us say minus 10 plus 3. The result will be minus 7, which is also an integer. Let us find out minus 20 minus 6. Answer is minus 26, which is again an integer. So that means if we are adding any two integers, we are getting another integer. So we can say that integers are closed under addition and hence the closure property satisfies. Next is commutative property. If we are able to add two integers in any order, then we will be able to say that addition of integers is commutative. So let us take up some examples. Consider minus 8 plus minus 9. This will give us our answer is minus 17. Let us check the answer for minus 9 plus minus 8. Again the answer is minus 17. Let us take another example. Suppose we have minus 45 plus 0. Our answer is minus 45. What about 0 plus minus 45? Again the answer is minus 45. That means the order in which we add two integers does not change the answer. So we can say addition is commutative for integer. So the general form of our property is if a and b are two integers then a plus b equal to b plus a. And general form of the closure property would be if a and b are two integers then a plus b is also an integer. Our next property is the associative property. If we have three integers minus 5, minus 3 and minus 2 and we have to perform the addition then we can either group minus 5 plus of minus 3 and then add to minus 2 or we can group minus 3 and minus 2 together then we have if the change in grouping does not affect the answer then we will be able to say that integers are associative under addition. So let us find out. We start by solving minus 5 plus minus 3. We get minus 8 
plus minus 2 which gives us minus 10. Now let us check the second grouping. We get minus 5 plus of minus 5 by solving minus 3 plus minus 2 which gives us minus 10. So in this example the way we group the three integers will not alter the question. Let us check for some more examples. Say we take the integers minus 3, 1 and minus 7. Now let us group minus 3 and 1 and 1 and minus 7. Let us solve the first grouping. Minus 3 plus 1 will give us minus 2. On solving further, we get minus 9. Let us solve the second grouping. We get minus 3 as it is plus minus 6 which gives us minus 9. Since grouping while adding doesn't alter the result, so integers are associated for addition. In general, if a, b, c are 3 integers, then grouping a plus b, then adding c is equal to grouping b plus c and then adding a. Next property for addition of integer is existence of additive identity which says if we have some integer such that if it is added to any other integer say 5 plus 0 we get the same integer then 0 will be called the additive identity. As on addition of 0, it does not alter the value. So we can say that when we add 0 to an integer, we get the same integer and hence 0 is the additive identity for integers. In general, for any integer a, a plus 0 equal to a. Next property defines additive inverse. We know that if minus 5 and 5 are added, we get 0, which is our additive identity. Then, 5 will be called the additive inverse of minus 5. If we have 7, what should be added to 7 so that we get 0? Clearly, minus 7 is the answer. Then, minus 7 is the additive inverse of plus 7. In general, for any non-zero integer a, that means a should not be 0, but a is an integer, there exists additive inverse minus a. And additive inverse of minus a is a. That means additive inverse of plus 10 is minus 10 and additive inverse 
ऑफ माइनस टेन इज प्लस टेन